Okay, so uh, now that was hand wavy. Uh, formally, what does the algorithm look like? This is known as the ID3 algorithm, and it is a recursive algorithm. So we're going to talk about what it does at a single node. So at a single node, basically, what it, uh, it, it, it splits the data. So uh, you take uh, you are at a particular node in this tree, and this could be the root node, right? And you have a set of training examples that falls into this root node, right? So uh, you guess, or the angel come down, comes down and tells you what the best attribute is to split on. So that's going to be attribute A. <coughs> so uh, we're going to create a decision node for attribute A. It has some alternatives, some such as you know, uh, sunny, rainy, or overcast. Right? And then for each value of that attribute, uh, we're going to create a new child node. And then what we're going to do is sort the examples that we have into the child nodes. So if we have you know, if the attribute is uh, Outlook and it was rainy, we only put the raining training examples into that uh, subset, right? And then uh, we're going to iterate over all children, all subsets. We're going to look at whether they're pure or not. If the subset is pure, so if it's either all positive or all negative, we stop. Otherwise, we recursively call the algorithm again on the child node. And this time, it'll have a subset of the training examples, right? Not all of them, but only the ones that had this particular attribute value. All right. So um, the algorithm was discovered uh, independently by two different fields. So uh, Ross Quinlan is a, is a machine learning researcher, and, uh, and he came up with the name ID3 for it. Uh, but uh, a bit earlier, somebody who worked in statistics actually came up with a different name. So uh, that happens when people work in different areas. Uh, machine learning and statistics are very, very closely related, but they don't like to talk to each other very much because the priorities are different. So, uh, so you get things like that. I guess it's less true now, but uh, it used to be the case. OK, so now uh, let's, talk about, let's talk about the angel. So how do we select the best attribute? Because that's really the crux of it. The rest of it is trivial. The rest of it is simple. So how do you pick the best attribute? All right. 